In this lesson, we are going to cover the basics of how the application OneNote can be a useful resource in note keeping. In this tutorial, we will be using OneNote for Mac. To begin, launch your app, which as you can already see, I've completed that. Next, click the Notebooks icon. Then, then press Add a Notebook. Click on the plus sign. Here, you can select the color of your notebook and give it a relevant title for what you will be working on. I'll select purple and my notebook is going to contain learning materials. Now we'll select create. You have just created your first notebook. Well done. Now let's take a closer look at the layout of this application. On the left hand side, you have three icons. The first one are your notebooks. You click the drop down and see all of your notebooks that you have. You can also utilize the search function to search through and find different information within your notebooks. And the recent icon, which shows you your recent notes. Right next to your notebook icon, you can see that you have your first notebook open. It shows you that you have a new section and an untitled page. Think of a section kind of like a subject in school. You might have one for math, history, science, and etc. And right next to that is your first page in that section. Think of this as the notes you will take regarding that subject on different days. Let me show you an example of how I'll set this up based on learning material. Section one, I'll right click and rename. This I wanna to rename to courses that I would like to teach. I'm gonna add a few pages on courses that I believe users would like more education on. One being Microsoft Word. In tap time. And we'll also do Microsoft Excel, just to name a few. I'll also add another section by clicking add section at the bottom. I'll rename this one to software. I'd like to look up software applications that might help our learning environment and our end users work more efficiently. So I'll look up some artificial intelligence options. Maybe some machine learning options. And there you have it. You have your sections here to the left and they're matching pages to the right. And as you go back and forth, you can see those changes. Feel free to click in any one of these pages and start creating notes. Well done. I hope you'd enjoyed in learning the basics of OneNote and be sure to watch the next video on how to dive deeper into this application. Thank you.